Welcome to Knockout Racing Circuit for the first round of the 2017 Scottish BMW Compact Cup. On pole position is where we expected him to be, the number one car, Gary Clark, last year's champion, lining up on pole position after qualifying. And I'm going to have a really quick chat with him. Second, by the way, is Fraser Huntley, which is a real great effort. Um, Gary, welcome back. Exactly where you left off. Pole position for the first round. Can we make it two championships in a row? Certainly gave our best. It's now looking very easy, though. It's quite tight in qualifying, so we'll see how this first race goes. But early days, just need to be scoring the points just now. You expecting some rain for race two? Yeah, well, the forecast says rain, but you can't feel like no cow. It's going to go a climate dead cell, so now with a forecast, we can really go by. Just wait and see. Good luck. Thank you. And with that, here come the BMWs. Gary Clark qualifies on pole position, something he made a little bit of a habit of last year. Fraser Huntley alongside, then David McNaughton and Cliff Harper, Stephen Goldie and Douglas Simpson on row three. Lee Elric is on row four with Greg Sutherland, then it's Liam McGill and Daniel Cormack. 11th on the grid is Jake Hutchison, Andrew Mackey next to him, Ashley Morris and John Robertson completing the lineup. Fair few newcomers joining the grid, but out of all of the Scottish Championship, I think this is the one with the strongest returning lineup from last year because we've got five out of the top six drivers all back on the grid again, which isn't going to make it easy for the newcomers. Lights on. Out we go, and the 2017 Scottish BMW Championship is overway. Fraser Huntley in yellow, the newcomer, his first car race, getting a little bit gobbled up at the start. And it is Gary Clark, defending champion, that leads. Cliff Harper in second. Third place is David McNaughton. Fourth position in blue is David Simpson. The white top car with the red wheels. And we're on board with Stephen Goldie in car number 40, the man who was sixth last year in the championship. But Gary Clark, what a start for the man from McDuff, the defending champion. Great that we have a defending champion again. Alan Kakodi, of course, won the championship in 2013, successfully defended the title the following year, and then Steve Daly was the champion, and Gary Clark, 2016 champion. Some good dicing going on down the order, and looking through to get try and get through, there is Liam McGill in white, but it's Gary Clark, the race leader, Cliff Harper in second from David McNaughton, and those three heading up the main straight, and uphill, McNaughton giving chase, McNaughton took three wins last year Gary Clark took seven and we do have drivers that won last year other than Gary Clark back in the mix and we might expect some new drivers to win as well but as you heard Gary saying in the interview with Joe it is very very close in qualifying Cliff Harper coming under pressure he finished third last year Lee Elric is back with us again he was runner-up in the championship last year and Lee down in seventh on the grid. That shows you just how competitive things are. Here's the view from Stephen Goldie shaping up to try and repass Liam McGill. Liam, one of our newcomers, in fact, was the second of the newcomers in qualifying, head of Daniel Cormack. And the 40 car goes past. So Stephen Goldie lost a little bit of ground on the start as David McNaughton challenges for second place. Down the inside line here of Cliff Harper. Are they going to get close? I think they do a little bit. Harper kicks up a little bit of dirt on the exit of the hairpin and they climb uphill. Side by side, Harper on the outside line. It's not impossible that he could recover the place from there. But we'll see as they head down into Duffus. Gary Clark, though, the race leader side by side for second. And David McNaughton goes through, qualified third. Cliff Harper was slightly quicker off the start. Fraser Huntley, of course, dropped back from second on the grid. Well, that's the story of the race so far. And David McNaughton up into second, but Gary Clark is away and down the road. Clark setting a very fast pace indeed in this first race. And in fact, on lap two, sets a 63.1 second lap, averaging at 72.361 miles. And now one of the new drivers going a little bit wide there but Gary Clark out front. Now, David McNaughton needs to get his head down. Cliff Harper is next up, and you can see Fraser Huntley starting to get back in the mix now. Fraser and X Carter, as many of these drivers are, and he passes Douglas Simpson now to go into fourth place. So Huntley, clearly no slouch at qualifying, second on the grid first time out. Start was a little bit hit and miss. Maybe we'll hear from him in the interview from Joe after the race. Uh, but where you finish is where you start. So if he can make a little bit more progress here, 
and one suspects that a podium may possibly be in the offing. We'll have to see uh, as the race progresses. But there is the 21 car, Fraser Huntley, being followed by Douglas Simpson. He's passed him, and Cliff Harper is in the sights of Huntley now. So he's starting, he's got his lights on, as you can see, and he's starting to close down on Harper, the man who was third in the championship last year. Simpson not that far behind as well. Three Clark curve to go. Gary Clark, though, still away and in the lead. It's four relatively close cars at the moment for second place through Hislops and down towards the hairpin they go. Huntley, this uh, is a, an impressive, so very impressive in qualifying, a good fight back from him thus far. And he will have a look at Cliff Harper as the race progresses. So Huntley now past Harper and up into a podium position on his first race weekend makes a little mistake there runs a little bit wide so Cliff Harper down into fourth place Gary Clark still away and in lead position from David McNaughton McNaughton's best lap in the in fact all the top seven drivers all in the 63 second bracket Huntley though slightly the quicker and on lap two sent a 63.124 so Huntley with the second fastest lap on track at the moment. McNaughton, though, keeping the gap from him. Cliff Harper still in fourth position. Douglas Simpson in fifth from Stephen Goldie and Lee Elric. So, really, nobody's lost out of the... or dropped out, shall we say, out of the top six from qualifying. Greg Sutherland did not make the start, sadly in car number 97 so maladies for him and we hope that he will be back Greg one of the race winning drivers from last year so Liam McGill comes down and past us and then the 77 car that's Ashley Morris lady racer up ahead of Andrew Mackey in the 53 car Andrew from Hamilton Ashley Morris from Thurso and uh, Ashley qualified in 13th but has made progress in the race in the LED Scotland back car absolutely immaculate livery on that car from Ashley who raced with us last year and was in the top 10 8th position last year in the top 10 just 3 points behind Liam Grant in the championship through goes Jake Hutchison in red and Jake another one of the newcomers there will be a trophy for the top newcomer Lee Elric was top newcomer last year with a stunning second position in the championship Gary Clark the uh, champion the year before that so Clark effectively looking for a championship hat-trick as John Robertson locks up and goes down the inside of Andrew Mackey very neat move indeed down into the hairpin Mackey though is going to try and fight back and he's looking up the inside line here they go up the hill let's see whether he can get through again we see Jake Hutchison following and Hutchison improving his lap times as all the newcomers are here in the first weekend of the season at Knock Hill. But we go on board with David McNaughton who is in second position just a shade under two seconds down on the race leader Gary Clark who looks like he is going to add to the impressive run of seven wins that he had last year and open his campaign with a double win at this meeting Clark last year in the first meeting had fourth and second places so a much better start for him in this year's campaign McNaughton chasing as best he can but Gary Clark one suspects probably won't make a mistake McNaughton goes a little bit wide on the exit of Clark still got Fraser Huntley in third is it going to be a podium for the ex-Carter on his car racing debut it looks as if it will be and that's mightily impressive but here comes Gary Clark then into the hairpin for the last time the defending champion in the Cytec back car is going to sprint up the hill there's nothing between him and the checker flag now but look at Fraser Huntley getting very close to David McNaughton Clark wins McNaughton second yes he does Huntley third maiden podium for him in his first race Cliff Harper is fourth the blue car of Douglas Simpson will come home in fifth position then Stephen Goldie in black a good start to the year for Gary Clark pole position win and fastest lap from McNaughton and in third place Fraser Huntley from Cliff Harper Douglas Simpson then Stephen Goldie Lee Elric Liam McGill Ashley Morris in ninth from John Robertson Jake Hutchison Daniel Cormack and Andrew Mackey completing the finishes
Gary, well done. Um, winning exactly where you left last season. Number one plate on the car, first place, pole position. Doesn't get much better. No, it's a perfect start, really. Uh, qualifying, obviously, went well on pole and just got it off the line really well. So left the guys behind my scrapping amongst themselves. And that's how I think to see in the mirror so you can get a war and a good lead. So, were you, were you pushing on or were you just staying where you were? It was about two and a half seconds. Uh, I try fine to keep pushing because I'm never sure if it can happen. A slight mistake and the boys are right back where you like. So uh, you've got to kind of got to keep pushing in that, but that's uh, comfortable. Well done. Thank you. Davey, well done. That's a good start to the year. Um, qualifying, not ideal, but a second place in the race is good. And the gap was kind of being maintained. Two and a half seconds-ish. Two and a half. Uh, yep, Gary's very consistent. As soon as he gets away, you know, he, unless he makes a mistake, you're not going to catch him. He doesn't do that very often, but really happy with that. So... Fraser kept me honest the whole race once he got past Cliff as well. Like, so it's going to be an interesting year. It's going to be very, very close. There's a number of guys going to get on this top step, I think. So, yeah, bring it on. So, well, we're here. I always forget to thank my family, mum, dad, wife, and the little one. They're the ones, last ones I always thank, and they always get cut off. So, thanks for putting up my crap over the winter. And uh, very huge thanks to Dave Heard at Trap Prep for putting all the hours in to get the car ready. And ELM, top notch again. The car's handling fantastically. So, well done. Fraser, uh, welcome to the podium. I think you're a face that we're going to see a lot of this year. That was a fantastic start. Second on the grid. A Fluffed start, but we'll let you off with that for now. But a good comeback. <laughs> no, it was good. Uh, first race, so uh, see how we got on. Hopefully, get a win next time. <laughs> well, this is it. I mean, you were coming back quite quickly, but from how far back you went, it was always going to be hard to get back to the front. Uh, no, I didn't expect to get back up to first, but third is good enough for the first race, is it? Really good. It's good, luck. Well done. Let's see a win today. Uh, maybe. So try my hardest. <laughs> BMW's race number two, back on pole position, is the man, where else would he be? Gary Clark, number one on pole position. But while we're sitting here waiting to go out, it has started raining a very, very tiny bit. Gary, wee bit rain there. What are you thinking? Oh, you couldn't write it, eh? <laughs> well, what would you do setup wise? Nothing? Put the wipers on? Is that the wet setting? That's about it, eh? Can't do too much now, so we'll just wait and see. See how it goes. It's not too heavy, so it shouldn't affect the shed. It's just landing on me there. It's getting heavier, Gary. Don't worry, though. It's all right. <laughs> um, and with that, I'll hand it to Richard. Hopefully the rain stays away for the last race of the day. Richard, take it away. Thanks, Joe. Gary Clark, as winner of race number one, starts on pole position with David McNaughton alongside. Then it's Fraser Huntley, Cliff Harper, Douglas Simpson and Stephen Goldie on row three. Then Lee Elric and Liam McGill, Ashley Morris and John Robertson, followed by Jake Hutchison, Daniel Cormack, Andrew Mackey, uh, and sadly, Greg Sutherland, who didn't start race one, doesn't start race two either. So Andrew Mackey on his own at the back of the grid, the white car with the red and uh, varying shades of blue stripes on the car. Gary Clark in red and yellow on pole position, already one race under his belt. David McNaughton in blue and red. The yellow car of Fraser Huntley is on row two. It looks like a good start from Cliff Harper, a mega start indeed from Cliff Harper in grey who tries to go for the lead but in fact winds up in second place so it's Clark from Harper McNaughton, rain on the camera here at Knock Hill, Stephen Goldie's made a good start and is challenging Fraser Huntley for fourth place Fraser Huntley better start than race one so he's getting some practice in probably he'll go away and practice his starts after this, then up into I think fifth place Douglas Simpson had a good start as we pick up on Liam McGill chasing Stephen Goldie with Ashley Morris in behind Ashley Morris, incidentally, jointly with John Robertson, the best improvers in race number one, make both making up four places on their starting positions for the end result. So, well done to those two. Coming down into the hairpin for the first time, and Cliff Harper goes wide. He's challenging Gary Clark, but Clark is wily. He knows the racing line here and knows not to leave a gap on the inside line. So Harper in second. Harper also will be looking in his mirrors to see David McNaughton there as well. Fraser Huntley starting to get into his race stride as he did in race number one. Up across the line they go. Clark with fastest lap in race number one. Of course, he's going to be a difficult man to catch, let alone beat. But Cliff Harper is taking the battle to him at the moment. Wonderful shot of the race leader. Dab on the brakes. Perfect turn in. Yes, into Scotsman corner. Harper still chasing, and in fact, first and second are getting away from third place at the moment. David McNaughton in the mix. That's a wide moment there, I think, for Daniel Cormack. Cormack going very wide. We don't know if that's caused a problem. The field are going through. We'll look back. Yes, it is. Sadly, Daniel Cormack, one of our newcomers here today, learning the hard way, is in the gravel. The Aberdonian will require assistance from the marshals, our wonderful marshals here 
at Knock Hill Circuit and you saw problems with the back bumper a little bit askew. That's game over for Daniel, our first retiree of the race. Indeed, our first retiree of the meeting here. So some great driving stands in race number one. It does mean that we have the safety car deployed in order to move that car from the uh, from the gravel. I think there was uh, an attempt at an overtake going up the hill, which is where my mind was momentarily. But all the drivers have seen the yellow flag. Safety car comes out at the back of the field, but picks them up at the end of the lap, as you can see. Still a little bit of rain on the camera lens hopefully not going to get any worse Daniel Cormack out great work from the marshals Daniel's meeting sadly truncated but did manage to get a finish in race number one finished in 12th place the newcomers in race number one obviously won by Fraser Huntley and an overall podium for him Liam McGill second John Robertson in third we're about to go racing again though and across the line goes Gary Clark who leads Cliff Harper in second place will resume the chase here we come, greeted by green flags coming down Duffer's dip, but McNaughton's having a, a shifty look there down the inside line. Fraser Huntley's still in fourth. There is Lee Elric in, in 14. He was second in the championship last year, as we mentioned. First, I think, proper look at him in this race. But Gary Clark, superstar once again, isn't phased by that. Huntley goes on the dirt again, manages to keep the car pointing in the right direction. Again, a good look at Liam McGill in the number 62 car one of our newcomers who was second as I said in the newcomers class as it were in race number one what a move there by David McNaughton who is looking all over the back of Cliff Harper here's the view from Harper keep your eyes peeled to see either side whether McNaughton can get second position coming down now and defensive you can see over on to as we look at it the right hand side oh and McNaughton goes round uh, Harper goes round now, was there contact or was that just pressure? It didn't look from the onboard. There wasn't a jolt on the onboard. When you get these in-car shots, very often you'll you'll kind of feel a bump or see a bump on the picture. It didn't look like that happened. Remember, there is a little bit of moisture out there. And Cliff Harper has a lot of work to do now. He has recovered, but is a way back. It leaves David McNaughton second. Fraser Huntley in third. There's McNaughton. Huntley in yellow followed by Doug Simpson there in 81 Simpson rides the curbs following him is Stephen Goldie in the black 40 then it is Lee Elric followed by Liam McGill and we say Cliff Harper we, we may well see a charge through from the back of the field now from Cliff Harper certainly had the pace he was pretty much equal to Gary Clark in those opening stages Stephen Goldie putting pressure here on Doug Simpson, big lock-up. That was brave stuff going down into there. Very well deserved and executed by Stephen Goldie ahead of Doug Simpson. Let's see whether Doug can fight back. We've got Lee Elric in the mix as well. Great to see the two newcomers both in shot as well as they went up the uh, hill. And here's the view from Cliff Harper. Back at the moment behind John Robertson. Robertson involved in his own battle. So Cliff Harper has to be very careful, of course, not to go too crazy on his run and uh, Robertson making a move having a look down the inside line at Clark so Harper may have a little bit of a, a better run this is a place where he can overtake and he's going to have a look but coming across is the 46 car there's half a gap there and Cliff Harper on his recovery I think he's still on the tarmac and this of course is where it all went pear-shaped for him earlier on but he, he manages to make it through great move by Cliff Harper in the 72 car. Wild moment for Andrew Mackey, who gets it all going again and will chase John Robertson up the hill. But Cliff Harper making a bit of progress, which is which is good. So he's inside the top 10, I think, now as we pick up on Stephen Goldie from Doug Simpson. Goldie running in fourth position. Fraser Huntley not making any ground at the moment on David McNaughton. Huntley on his quicker laps is very quick indeed he needs to of course he'll, he'll be learning the car as well as the circuit first car racing meeting for him so he'll go away with the newcomers championship lead assuming he doesn't have a retirement Simpson though coming back now at Stephen Goldie so these two have had a very good race and Simpson here not challenging as such as they go into the hairpin but I guess thinking about his line as they go 
up the hill. There is Gary Clark building a, a good lead, a bigger lead than he had in race number one. The official gap, Clark to McNaughton, race number one, on the smart timing screen was 1.88 seconds. But this time the gap is bigger. So Gary Clark starting to put his authority on things. Look at that massive gap back to David McNaughton. So Clark out front will go away from this race with a perfect 80 point score if he stays out front it'll be 74 only six points uh, lead garnered over David McNaughton in this one Fraser Huntley will be another uh, four points down with a brace of podia again if it finishes this way here comes Clark fastest lap of the race on lap nine a 62 point nine nine eight a shade slower than his fastest lap in race number one as we rejoin uh, Cliff Harper challenging Ashley Morris so Harper goes through on the inside line and will also attempt to go past Jake Hutchison in red which he does so a good pass there by Cliff Harper real damage limitation there uh, from Harper as Gary Clark on his last lap edges towards another Scottish BMW Championship race win here at Knock Hill. No pressure at all. A very good lead. It's over four seconds from David McNaughton. So the Cytec car is on its way now and goes up the hill. There's the chequered flag. Gary Clark wins round two of the 2017 Scottish BMW Championship. David McNaughton second. Fraser Huntley in his first car meeting takes a double podium. Remember that name for the future. Stephen Goldie next from Douglas Simpson. Here comes Lee Elric, then Liam McGill, second in the newcomers. And the next car in sight is going to be Cliff Harper in 72. Double win to open the 2017 season for Gary Clark. David McNaughton second from Fraser Huntley. And it was Goldie, Simpson, Elric and McGill, followed by Cliff Harper. Jake Hutchison in ninth place ahead of Ashley Morris, then Andrew Mackey in 11th completing the finishes fastest lap of the race to Gary Clark perfect weekend yeah, again we expect nothing less from you these days you seem to be able to control it um, two and a half second lead and then I said to the guys in there watching the screen they said oh it's only two and a half seconds but I said if they get, if they get closer Gary will pull something out of the bag oh, it's alright fine just to have a bit of extra but uh, our piece two's coming on and they're really quick so going to have to be on at the time Still, it's fine to get uh, two wins in the first meeting. Bag a heap of points, so that's how we left that. And still, I said this most of last season, still nobody's put a scuff on that beautiful beamer of yours. Nah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing about being up front. Eh? Maybe Rooney, it's fine. Well done. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, that brings today's action to a close. But as ever with the Scottish Motor Racing Club, we've seen action all day long. We've got plenty more to come in May. So make sure you tune in next time.